I'm Matt Smith. I'm an artist who works mainly with ceramics and textiles, often in response to museum collections, questioning dominant narratives in cultural organisations and trying to reposition objects and make new connections within collections to question gaps in how museums work and how they interpret things. I came to the residency at CFPR with a desire to explore 3D manipulation and printing. I'm particularly interested in the boundaries between objects and during the residency I was interested in exploring the boundaries between figurines and sculpture. Both of these depict people but they're usually considered in very different contexts. Figurines seen as uh, domestic, decorative and in some way marginal while sculpture runs to the monumental, the bombastic and the celebratory. And so I wanted to consider whether this was just a matter of scale or subject matter or material. And I also came to the residency with a massive knowledge gap about 3D printing and digital design and manipulation. So a large part of the residency for me has involved upskilling in the use of both hardware and software. The process started with scanning figurines. Some of these were relatively expensive historical examples and others were very much low value figures from the 1970s and 80s. These digital scans were then manipulated and combined and stretched, mirrored and reprinted. The printing was done with a PLA or a plastic polymer and it was constrained to some extent by the scale of the printers. Following printing, the pieces needed finishing by hand. So the digital manipulation of the figurines drew on existing work I'd made in ceramics, but they also allowed for distortions that would have been very difficult, almost impossible to replicate using traditional ceramic techniques. For me, these prints complicate ideas of the individual and through doubling and mirroring raise questions about intimacy and sexuality. Alongside this work, I was keen to experiment with as much of the equipment here as possible while on the residency. So this includes working with laser cutting to create an oversized mantelpiece set in ply. The outlines created from online images of museum objects, which were increased in size and cut out. Playing with online digital 2D images of 3D objects from museum collections resulted in new works which looked 2D, 2D but are in fact 3D. One of the most visually beautiful things that happened while working with the manipulation of the figurines, for me, was seeing the imagery created by the software. Usually a catalyst or a byproduct in the process of 3D printing, these images contained a visual language that I was really drawn to, possibly more than the actual 3D prints themselves. The online digital mesh drawings were perfect. There were no printing flaws, and they could still be endlessly modified and unmodified. They were constantly changeable. And it was these images which formed the basis of a series of plates. Three-dimensional commercial plates acting as carriers of two-dimensional digital images of distorted three-dimensional commercial figures. Using the digital decal printer in the studio allowed for fast production of decal images, which allowed for experimentation and trial in the process. The online digital images also formed the basis of the addition of prints being produced at CFPR. Through a decimation of detail, the Rococo figurines triangulate into abstract figures, which for me are reminiscent of mid-century design. And I'm interested in this, how by reducing difference and individuality, it recreates a visual language that we're used to from about 50 years ago, and what this might speak to in terms of mid-century homogenization. Taking digital meshes and placing them in landscapes, the prints are going to be screen printed to lay down the background colours before relief printed to literally press the figures onto the image plane.